Hi everyone, my name is Astro Kerry and I just wanted to make a, a video explaining how I painted muscles and different definitions onto my costumes. Um, this is usually used for superhero costumes and stuff like that. Um, I feel it adds a lot more character and yeah. So the things that you're going to need is some chalk or a chalk pencil, something to mark out on your fabric whereabouts you want everything to go. A good reference picture. Now I have this wonderful book called the Anatomy of the Artist, which is a series of photographs of naked people, but um, it's really useful because, pardon me, but uh, <laughs> it's full of muscles and other things, yeah. It's really useful to have the reference pictures because you can actually see where the light hits different muscles and the way the shading should work and stuff like that. Having it there on hand makes it a lot easier for you to be able to paint what you need. Okay, um, so once you've got your bodysuit, you want to take your chalk and map out uh, whereabouts everything yeah, needs to be sitting. So you need to draw your belly button in there. I don't know if you can see it very well in the video, but when I take the jumpsuit off, I'll be able to see where everything is. So your belly button, about where you want the abs to kind of sit. Um, not forgetting that you have more than just a six pack, you've also got uh, all these muscles in here, the muscles that come up the side, stuff like that. This is what you need to be marking out to make it a lot easier for you later on when you're painting it, when it's not on your body. Yeah. Ladies, you want to do underneath the bosoms, but I mean, most superhero men have boobs as well, so guys, you want to do the same thing. About down the center, stuff like that. Just to give you, um, yeah, an idea of where everything goes when you do eventually take it off and you're painting everything. Okay, so I'm going to take this off and show you how to paint it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so after you've taken the bodysuit off, what you want to do is put it inside a bit of cardboard. We'll put a bit of cardboard inside it. So stretch it out. It just gives you something uh, solid to paint against when you're eventually painting the muscles. Um, I don't know if you can see very well, but I can see the white marking of where I need the abs, where my belly button is, and the underlined of my chest and stuff like that. Um, they're basically just your marker points, um, then you'll take your reference pictures and match that all up for when you're painting. Okay, so this is the bit where you're going to be painting. If you're anything like me and you eat a lot of pizza, I like using pizza boxes to mix my paint. Um, you need your base colour which in my case is blue, which is as close to the blue of your suit as possible. Um, and then you're also going to need a black and a white. Um, just basic acrylic paint is fine. It doesn't particularly matter the quality. Um, I got these from a $2 store, so you don't need to worry about that too much. Um, I prefer with my paint brushes to use ones with the, the soft brush. I just find it a lot easier to blend and to yeah, do stuff like that rather than a, um, I don't have any examples, but like the bristlier kind of bristlier, is that a word? Yeah, more coarse kind of brushes. So, yeah, what you're going to need to do is mix a colour that is only slightly darker than your base colour. So don't jump straight in with a black or a, a super dark colour. You want something that's only a slightly bit colour, uh, darker. The reason for this is it's a good way to map out exactly where you want all your muscles and you leave yourself room for error which yeah it's good to leave so <laughs> good to leave room for error all right so you got your slightly darker color and what you want to do is start mapping out the different shades of the the inner part of your abs so you have a line that goes straight down your torso and make it slightly deeper where your belly button is um, and then you can see in your reference picture the line doesn't go all the way down to your crutch it stops just kind of below your belly button and be aware that your paint will dry a different color too so if it seems too dark right now don't worry it's probably gonna set lighter um, I've got the line under here for where my bra is Mm -hmm. 
Now this also depends on what fabric you choose. Um, my Scarlet Witch had more of a pleather, uh, kind of leathery kind of fabric, which was much easier to paint on. This stuff is just super stretchy dance fabric stuff, so it's not as easy, but... Yeah. Okay, outside of your muscles. At this point, you don't have to be particularly neat. Particularly neat. This is just your shading part. This is why it's always good to have a colour that's not that dark, because... This is just the first part. Um, having a good study of anatomy really helps with this part. You can see how many different muscles there are. Um, get different photos of people posing and stretching in different ways really helps to see how those muscles work and stuff like that. Um, maybe you've got a character that's got a billion and one photos. You can also use photos of other characters. I mean, people like Deadpool and Superman are everywhere and muscles all look the same. You get the general idea. This is just a really quick kind of example. Um, use the last bits of paint on your brush to really shade those bits in. Preferably don't get cardboard that has bends on the other side because that will Same as when you're doing the shading and you only wanted a slightly darker colour to do this first part of shading, you only need a slightly lighter colour to do the highlighting. Um, this means don't just go straight in with white. Mix, in my case, because I've got the blue, I'm only going to mix a little bit of white in with the blue to make a slightly lighter colour. So I have this lighter blue here. Um, right. The only thing that's going to differ between male and female is the the chest. Um, men's chest is a lot more square, obviously flat, um, so your shades and highlights will be in a different spot. Ladies, um, yeah, you're really gonna really look at your reference pictures because this is really the only part that really differs. Um, imagine where the light is going to be hitting the muscles and put, yeah, that's where you want to put a lighter colour. So for example, in these muscles I've got the shade along the bottom, so I'd probably come through with a lighter colour around the tops. Okay. See, I'm not going in too hard or too heavy. So yeah, basically you want the shading at the bottom, highlights at the top. Ladies, um, or if you're doing a female character, you have your highlights up here, much more round. If you're doing a male character, a lot more squarish. Um, one thing I was always told in all my art classes was to rinse your brush out when you are changing colours. I never do that. I never rinse my brush out when I'm swapping between the lighter colour and the darker colour because I just use it to blend and move around. Obviously, if you're using a darker colour, don't 
paint where your lighter color is, but for example, I've got the darker shade here. So just gonna bring that through. Do that under color, and then I'm just gonna grab a highlight and go over. See, I like having a mix of all the colors. I find it a lot easier to blend, but that might just be me, I don't know. Okay, um, you've got muscles up here on the edges as well. I mean, obviously you'd rotate your your fabric around the board so you can paint the sides a bit better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it all really is about... Um, just seeing those different shapes and painting and shading them, so... Um, at this point, you can go through with a darker colour, maybe a thinner brush. I've got some black here. <clears throat> you can really redefine certain sections. Um, places like the belly button, places that are particularly dark. Uh, if you're doing a female character, you'll find that the cleavage shading isn't just like your typical like cleavage line. It actually comes out in a bit of a, a triangle kind of shape, starting from here, coming out to these points here. Well, obviously, I've got a deep neckline, but if you had... Uh, a piece that came all the way up to your neck, you'd have a highlighting across the chest as well. <clears throat> and yeah, um, you can kind of see how I've gone through and done all that. Obviously you can take a bit more time and um, make sure that you get all the shapes in there properly and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> once again, the, sh the colours that I used, obviously it will vary depending on what colour your suit is, but I've got this, this blue here, which is as close to the fabric as I could get. I've got this blue, which is slightly lighter, which is I did a lot of the highlights with. I've got white, and I've got black. Um, don't feel limited to those particular colours. For example, if you were painting a red suit, you could also add some yellows or some oranges or some deep maroons or something like that. Um, don't feel limited to just that colour. Yeah, um, keep an eye on your references, keep going back and forth. Um, it really is, yeah, starting out with the darker colours and then going through and adding your highlights. This is acrylic paint, so once it's dry, it shouldn't come out if you put it through the wash. Um, it shouldn't rub off, it shouldn't come off in any way like that. Um, okay, so um, don't forget while you're painting to, to try on uh, your outfit every now and then, just to make sure your muscles are sitting in the right place. Uh, you might find that you accidentally painted them too high or too low or something like that. It's always good to put your outfit on and yeah, just double check that it's sitting where it should be. Okay, so that quick paint, um, I'll just show you how it looks. Yeah, just you can kind of... Yeah, so you get the general idea of 
the muscle and I can see it any better out right here. But yeah. Um, so that was a super quick job. Uh, obviously, you'd put a bit more time and and uh, thought into it and keep going back to your reference pictures and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's basically how I paint my anatomy outfits. Um, don't be scared to try different colours and look up different um, reference pictures for muscles and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I hope that was useful to someone. Thank you and yeah, thanks for watching.